Welcome, one and all, to my next instalment of the 30 Beers for 30 Years series. Today, we're looking at Adam's Ghost Ship, coming in at 4.5%. They call it a citrus pale ale, which is an interesting phrase because it, when they put citrus, which implies that it has some sort of ad, citrus adjunct in it, where, whereas it doesn't. It's because it's it has citra in it, and it was one of the first beers, um, one of the first sort of like mass-produced beers to um, use citra in the UK, really. I don't think it was the first, but it was it was among the first. And the reason I've stuck it in my 30 beers for 30 years box is because I'm a Suffolk boy. Adams is a Suffolk brewery. And I wanted to put him in there. So I thought like, because oh, I've sort of done a review of it before when I looked at the alcohol-free version. I also drank a can of, or a bottle of this alongside it. But I haven't just done a, a standalone review of it. And I was looking around sort of thinking, oh, should I do like a newer Adams beer or a more obscure one? Um, or one that I haven't even looked at on the channel before. But I thought, Ghost Ship is my favourite Adams beer. Most people in the UK would probably be familiar with Ghost Ship. It actually celebrated it, its 10th anniversary this year, in 2020. And it's a beer I've had many times before. It is a bit of a fridge filler because it's just so easy to get around here. And I, I do like, I do prefer the cans over, over the bottles of uh, Ghost Ship. But you look at that. Look at that. An ever so slightly hazy amber coloured beer with a really nice rocky tight head on top. Beautiful condition. Beautiful. Let's go for a little sniff, shall we? It's a good smelling beer. I mean, it's one of those things, like just a little caveat. I've I enjoyed this beer. I've had it so many times, it's sort of become part of the furniture. And I never really pick it apart that much. It has a very pronounced sort of lemon lime cordial character going on with it. There, there is a little bit of dankness. A little bit of mustiness, I suppose. Some of this remind me a bit of like a rye beater. Or maybe something a little bit sweet like the Hovis biscuits that you have with cheese. But it smells good. It smells comforting. It's a smell I've smelled many a and many a time. Yeah, it just smells damn good. Let's go for a little taste. Cheers. It's just such a solid beer. It's just such dependable, reliable. It's not gonna knock your socks off or blow you away. But it's one of those things when I go to a pub in in Suffolk and I see Go Ship on tap. I gravitate towards it because I know it's going to be of a quality unless the pub is shit and it's got shit lines or whatever. And that's what you get with Ghost Ship, it's just dependability. And we all, we all need a little something to depend on in our lives. But for a 4.5% beer, it has quite a robust mouthfeel. It's not thin or insipid. There's a prickly bitterness to it. Again, it's more on, on the flavour, I'd say the citrus is going more down the sort of grapefruit path than sort of like lemon. We have like a candied orange peel thing or marmalade. Yeah, a bit of a digestive biscuit malt backbone to it it's just like i said just solid dependable good old faithful ghost ship and i mean at this point if you haven't tried ghost ship give it a go it's a great beer to have in the fridge so you've missed any of my other 30 beers for 30 years series please go and have a look at the playlist below but that's been everything from my favorite beer from adnams which is their ghost ship citrus pale ale i've been jake remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one cheers ah.